Your attitude defines 50% of what you bring to the table as an engineer. Let's find out why. Do you have the perfect job? Is every project you're working on super interesting and every coworker is a dream to work with? I bet you just said no. There are many things out there in every job which are not perfect, but we all work with them and we try to make the best out of it, more or less at least. Let's see what we can do to make your situation a little bit better. Now, as I said in the beginning, your technical and analytical skills are only about 50% of what defines you as an engineer. In your everyday job, it's of course about your technical skills and what you can do as a developer or as a test engineer or as a web developer, but the other 50% are about how you behave in this group, in your team and with other teams. So it's about how easy it is to work with you, um, how well you communicate problems and ideas to others and also how you handle responsibility. Um, because chances are that your boss, your manager tries to give you responsibilities and um, so he doesn't need to handle those responsibilities anymore. Now, it's about two things here. On the one hand, uh, it's your character which influences those kind of things. And on the other hand, it's your attitude. So changing a person's character is very hard. Uh, it's about what you are, what, it, what, what defines you as a person. And so changing character is really hard, maybe even impossible. But what you can do and what you can do in a matter of days is changing your attitude. And changing your attitude means that you start thinking about things in a different light, uh, maybe more positive. And it's not easy, I'm not saying that it's an easy task, but it's something you can do in a couple of days or weeks. Let me give you a real world example why changing your attitude can be career changing and even more than that. Now there was an engineer in a past job of mine and his technical skills were excellent. He was a senior developer, um, but it wasn't easy to work with him. Um, he was a senior developer, as I said, but it stopped him from growing further and having a wider reach uh, in his career. So at some point he realized that the thing that was stopping him from growing further was his attitude. It was how he approached things and how he acted when other people were around. So his negative attitude towards many things and many projects um, led him into a position where everybody knew that he is very good at his job but he wouldn't get the really interesting projects. He wouldn't get the big projects. And even if he was involved in the big projects, people tried to keep him out of the loop because it was just extremely tedious to work with him. He was in meetings and, you know, in architecture reviews and things like that. And he had very good knowledge about all the technical aspects, but it was just a pain to work with him and to argue with him because he was not only skeptic, but he was just negative everywhere. So a couple of years later, he realized all of this and he started to calm down. He started to see things in a brighter light and it was easier to work with him because he was just, let's say, nicer to people. So instead of attacking the person, he attacked the idea if somebody had an idea, which is absolutely fine to do because we want to grow. We want to get feedback from each other and a healthy dose of skepticism is very good and is a very important asset of every engineer. But being too negative all of the time is gonna stop you from growing and it's gonna lead you into the same position as this guy was. People will try to leave you on the side and will try to work without you. A couple of years down the road, this guy realized that his negative attitude and his quick-tempered behavior was holding him back from growing further. He started to calm down and he started to change how he communicates with others. And in a couple of months only, he started to see progress. And from there on, uh, he was promoted and promoted again. And he's, in the meantime, extremely successful in the leadership position. 
And nowadays, he himself um, acknowledges that this was the problem that was holding him back. Now, let's look at two more things why attitude will define yourself and your career. Let's look at it from two perspectives. The first one is the external perspective. Why are you employed? To solve problems. We're all engineers, we're all developers and uh, test engineers and front-end developers and designers and whatever it may be, but you are employed because your company is looking for somebody to solve problems and make progress on some sort of project. So, as I said, a healthy dose of skepticism is very important, but at some point you have to realize that you shouldn't fight back all the time. There are projects where there is no perfect solution. There is maybe not even a half perfect solution, but they need to get done and they need to be done in a timely fashion. And sometimes that also means that you're doing something now and in a year on, uh, you'll have to rework it. But if this is what the business requires, then just go with it. Um, your manager, your boss is going to be happy if you give feedback and it can be negative feedback, but in the end, he wants you to come up with a solution. So in that case, you just have to swallow it and come up with the best solution in this moment. And from there on, it's really important. From there on, the last step is going to be committing and not looking back. Now, why is this commitment so important? This leads us to the second point where we look at it from your own perspective, so internally. Now, if you don't commit and you have, you contemplate, you look back all the time and you say, oh, why, why did I do this? Why did we came up with this solution? Why are we doing this project in general? The whole time you're going to work on this project, it will drag you down. You will have bad thoughts all the time and it's not going to be fun. Um, not only you are uh, having a bad time, you're dragging down all of your team. And this is another really negative thing that you don't want to have on your performance reviews. You don't want to get into the situation where your manager realizes that because of you, the whole team is in a bad mood. So, as I said, once you commit to this problem and commit to solving this problem, uh, you need to go forward with this and not look back and try to make the best out of it. Because not only is it going to make a good impression uh, in front of others, it's going to help yourself as well. Because you're going to work on it, you're, you're going to come to work every day and you'll be positive. You'll start to like the project. Even if it's something stupid and you don't think it's a good idea to do, but because you just have a better attitude, a positive attitude about it, it's not going to be as bad to work on. So in summary, we can say, if you come into the situation where you have a negative attitude at work, try to break out of this vicious circle. Because this vicious circle is starting with something negative uh, where you don't commit and you contemplate all the time, you come to work with a negative attitude, you drag the team down, which then has a negative impact on your career, which gives you negative reviews, and of course, this only makes your whole situation worse because now you feel like you're not making any progress in your career. So at some point you need to break out and it won't feel nice in the beginning because there is no objective metric which shows your progress. You just have to trust this process and be positive, force yourself to being positive and you'll notice after weeks and months that this vicious circle is broken and that you come into you come to work with a better attitude which makes your work better which makes your team better and in the end all of your career will benefit from it all right this is today's video i hope you like this more psychological topic uh, i think it's as important as the technical ones if you feel like you need some coaching or interview training go to successintech.com where I offer mentoring and coaching uh, for developers, engineers in all stages of their career. My name is Ramon Lopez and this is Success in Tech.